Thermos Jar here and I got a story to tell, it's about Space Marine. So I, I was clinging to talk about this game specifically since uh, when it came out, I it didn't came out. I got it really early with leak. Nevertheless, um, played it, it was fun, but uh, now I can finally say something about it. So it came out, it's clearly a sequel, you're still playing as the main character from the first game, you are going through the same story it's a redemption arc technically and in the end it's always boils down to the same plot twist just like the first game they didn't really innovate much about it they had some moments there that kind of captivated me i was like no way they're gonna have a, this kind of plot twist but then it was like <laughs> never mind we're just keeping the old story going <laughs> yeah I'm trying to try to not spoil anything and remember this is not pre-recorded and I'm just talking out of it. So I'm trying to keep the uh, how to say the spoilers out of the way. Let's talk about technical stuff. Technical stuff is a gorgeous game. It looks okay. It's technically it's a bit outdated in terms of maybe other things, but look-wise it looks all right for today's gaming market. It's the environments are vibrant the visuals are okay um the gothic atmosphere of warhammer is there i would say it's even better than dark tide way better the guys who made this they they knew what they're making dark tide guys can suck a long one wiener but these guys did it right um the feel of the battles they don't look small but they're very artificial and the game itself let's 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 talk about the gameplay like the gameplay was so bloody linear if you ask me that i haven't been playing games like this for a while i re even remember that games used to be like this you have a corridor some corridors upon corridors upon corridors there and that's about it so this is pretty much it you're playing in a corridor running to the end of the game which there's nothing wrong with that but i do and I had expectations that a game from 2024 would have more ways to approach objectives. It kind of was a big letdown on that point where you would think you have a brand new game. It's set in a very vast universe with the requirements that we have in the game now. And somehow you don't really have freedom to do anything except just same thing over and over as in the same thing over and over i mean just go corridor kill couple of boobs go another corridor kill some more boobs and that's about it it was kind of disappointing the mini bosses were fun addition to it but in general weird and sad when i think about it now let's talk about the sneaked in malware they added into the game. And by malware I mean Epic Games Launcher. So I am a very anti Epic Games. I hate that thing. It's cancerous platform just like EA used to have that origin. And I think it shouldn't exist. But that's my opinion. <sighs> you know, we can talk about Space Marine 2 forever. What I would say for conclusion is play it and enjoy it as long as you can and form your own opinion if this game was worth your time. With this, Thermos Jar is over and out. See you in the next video.